Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Uh, today I wanted to give you guys an update on the progress of my space tool cabinet. Now normally I would do this downstairs, but we have the air on today and that furnace is loud. You can barely hear me. You hear more background noise of the furnace going than anything, so I figured I'd save your ears and not show the machine this time. Uh, we'll probably show it either when I turn the air off or whatever. Eventually i got to get that walled off down there so it's uh, much quieter. But I figured I'd give you an update on where we're at with the cabinet. I did order the buttons, a iPack, and at GameGraphics.com, which used to be main marquees, uh, they actually have a uh, replica controller overlay of the Space Duel cabinet. So I went ahead and ordered that. Unfortunately, I wish I could have found just a free vector version of it, but, uh, you know, no such luck. But uh, what you're looking at here is actually a Vizio layout of the arcade buttons and the joysticks. I got this from HardMVS.com, which I assure you is not a porno site. Um, it's a guy who works on uh, Neo Geo cabinets and provides the button layout and joystick layouts in a Vizio format and a GIF format. So you can print them out. So what I'm going to do once I get this uh, down pat with complete measurements and everything... I will print this full scale on the uh, printer at work, and when we get our piece of wood, we will go ahead and drill through and tape this down on the wood so we have our template exact. But uh, to kind of show you what's going on here, I set this up for a uh, Neo Geo setup, like I mentioned in my introduction video to the Space Tool cabinet. Uh, so this isn't final, but uh, it's, it's getting there. Um, so, 8-way joystick, 4 buttons like a Neo Geo cab has. Uh, these three buttons here, I will show you what those are going to be, and that is another 8-way for Player 2. Now, originally I had the Player 1, Player 2 buttons on the top here, but uh, I'm trying to save space so you can see the actual control overlay. I don't want to drill too much into it, so I decided against that just to keep it simple down the three buttons. But to kind of show you what we're going with here, we will have 8-way stick here. Kind of move this into view better, I apologize. But uh, green handle stick to go along with the original Space Duel theme that has uh, green buttons on the uh, first player side. So then you got your four buttons, which I did all in green here. So I'm not going to do the Neo Geo where it has a different color button for each because it's pretty easy to figure out the four buttons for Neo Geo games. So you're going to have your four buttons here. And then your second player eight-way stick with the red again following the theme of the space tool cabinet because it's all red buttons on player two side stay there and of course red buttons and that is a little close on there and that's just because I'm printing on eight and a half by eleven sheets of paper right now so it won't be that close so you'll have eight buttons there and uh, your three buttons here is going to be a player two button for there, player one button for there, and then your actual uh, coin button that'll insert your credits in. I could wire the coin box, but I think just for ease of use for now, I'm just going to wire a middle button, and if I end up using the coin box, we can uh, change that button into a different function. But uh, not quite sure what I'm going to use for the color of the middle button. I had a choice of 14 buttons here. And I got two orange, a black, and a white. Now, my favorite color is orange, so I would really like to put that in the middle, but I almost think it would look too gaudy and weird on that Space Duel cabinet since it's got green and red buttons. I think it would kind of take away. Maybe we'll kind of put it in and see how it looks. So I'm thinking more the black or just another white button. Maybe I'll go with black just so it kind of defines the uh, what button's the coin button a little bit better, but... That's what you're looking at right there is the uh, the current control layout for the Space Tool cabinet. So once the iPack comes in and the uh, overlay, uh, I'm going to have my dad over and uh, we're going to use his uh, woodwork skills to uh, get a new control panel put in there and get the drilling and wiring done. So hopefully by the end of next weekend that cab will be ready to go. The PC is already built and put in. I'm working on it now with a... Uh, Xbox 360 Street Fighter 4 gamepad, which isn't the preferred way of playing, but it works, so the PC's ready to go. I'm probably going to have to pull the existing speakers out of the cabinet, because I don't think they're magnetically shielded, which is bad for any hard drive. Uh, another thing is, i got an LCD monitor in there. You know, I like LCD monitors for the most part, but for me, it just doesn't look that good. 
So I'm going to see if we can strip out a casing or something of a uh, CRT monitor and see if we get it fit in that cabinet. It's kind of tough, so we'll have to play it by ear and see. But uh, that's uh, so far the progress on that. I'm pretty excited. I think this thing is going to look pretty badass. And uh, I'll update you guys when we got some more progress on it soon. So that's it for now. Take it easy.